Good evening, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick from Grace Episcopal Church. I'm the rector and pastor there here in Paducah, Kentucky. And I'm here in my home, winding down from my day on this uh, 28th day of July. Today is the festival day of Johann Sebastian Bach. And so we celebrate this Christian man and his gift to all humanity with beautiful music. I'll tell you a little bit more about him from uh, that I continued from our uh, for our noonday prayer to this afternoon. Let us put ourselves in God's holy presence. We begin on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 150, oh, excuse me, Psalm 149, pardon me, page 807, page 807, Psalm 149. We'll read it in its entirety. Please join me. Hallelujah, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand. To, we, to wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron. To inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for all his faithful people. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scriptures continue this evening, on this festive evening, from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 5, verses 11 through 14. Now, when the priests came out of the holy place, for all the priests who were present had sanctified themselves without regard to their divisions, all the Levitical singers, Asp, Haman, and Judathan, their sons and kindred arrayed in fine linen, with cymbals, harps, and lyres, stood east of the altar with one hundred and twenty priests, who were trumpeters. It was the duty of the trumpeters and singers to make themselves heard in unison, in praise, and thanksgiving to the Lord. And when the song was raised with trumpets and cymbals and other musical instruments in praise to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The house, the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud, so that the priests could not stand in to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When you listen to that passage from Second Chronicles, you know, you can't help but not think about uh, a fine musician and composer. 
like Johann Sebastian Bach. As I was mentioning today um, earlier, I, he, he was born in 1685 in Eschbach, uh, Thuringen, uh, Germany. I'm so sorry for all of those who, who do know German. I'm, I'm not doing very well. But uh, he was a distinguished musician coming from an amazing family of musicians. In 1708, he married his cousin, uh, Maria Barbara Bach, and then uh, was uh, selected to be the organist uh, of, Duke, uh, of the Duke of Vinmer. Uh, and then he became the principal composer in set, uh, of, or, of organ music during that period of time. In 1717, he became the music director uh, for Prince Leopold of Conrath. In 1720, uh, his wife Maria Barbara Bach died. And in 1721, a year later, he was he remarried Anna uh, Magdalena uh, uh, and uh, whom he composed some amazing keyboard uh, uh, compositions. It was at, uh, until his death from 1723 to 1750, he was in Lipsing, where he taught, conducted, sang, played, and composed he had over 20 children, excuse me, he had 20 children, nine of them survived, and amazingly, uh, many of them were also, uh, of the nine, were great composers as well. It's got to be in the genes, you know? So when we listen to this passage from Second Chronicles, and you listen to any uh, Johann Sebastian Bach's music, especially his organ pieces, Jim Patton does beautifully... Uh, uh, Judy Bray, uh, prior to Jim being our organist and choir master, she did an amazing work too on the organ. Um, some of the things that you probably do know of some of his pieces, uh, St. Matthew's Passion, uh, the St. John Passion, uh, B minor Mass uh, is played many times over. He, you, you would have thought that, you know, because he was Lutheran, um, in his faith life, that he would only lean towards that. But his gift and his amazing, uh, uh, amazing compositions drifted both back forth and through any of the mainline religions at that period of time. And so he was able to cross uh, Christian boundaries and to help both Roman Catholics and Lutherans during the Reformation and uh, even beyond that, excuse me, but he was able to uh, do all that. He, uh, I just want to quote one thing. The other thing as a Lutheran choral melody that he, he created, he was able to create two melodies interwoven in harmoniz perfect harmonization. And so as a musician and as a Christian, he was able to blend and create the gospel message for all to hear, both in song of scripture and in music uh, via instruments. And so today, this evening, as we go to bed tonight, you may, many of you may not listen to Bach as you go to bed, but some of his incredible uh, uh, compositions you could probably go to sleep with because they are such perfect harmony and music uh, intonation. And so we give thanks for musicians this evening. We give thanks for Holy Scripture that brings Jesus Christ message and life story to us via music and the gift of the arts. Amen. We continue our Compline night prayer on this festive day and this evening as we wind down our day on page 132, page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together, my sisters and brothers, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our prayer come to you. Let our cry come to you. Let us offer this comp our Compline prayer this evening, colic prayer. Let us pray. Sound out your majesty, O God, and call us to your work, that like thy servant, Johann Sebastian Bach, we might present our lives and our works to your glory alone. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Let us offer our prayers as people of God. Let us turn and offer our prayers for, uh, to page 388. Page 388, Prayers of the People, Form 4. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations of the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. We pray for all of our uh, civic and elected officials. We pray for civil uh, conversation in taking care of our businesses and helping the work of our economy come back to life during this pandemic. Help us be safe with one another and to treat each, treat each other with respect and dignity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth and your, as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Thank you, Lord, for all the farmers and ranchers who provide us with our nourishment. Thank you for the food processing places that and the workers who work hard work in both hot conditions and very cold and icy freezing conditions. Thank you for our truck drivers who bring them to our grocery stores and for all those who supply and restock our shelves. Thank you for all these workers and for these businesses keeping them safe during this pandemic and for our food supply that it may be safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve, the, serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. We especially pray for all of our neighbors and those people who we come in contact briefly with, maybe wearing a mask or not wearing their mask. We pray for all that we may respect each other to try to keep each other safe from this terrible passing on this virus that kills people. We thank you, Lord, for those who are celebrating the gift of life this day, especially the, the gift of a birthday. We especially like to uh, thank and give praise for Sarah Holland, who celebrates her birthday today. Happy birthday, Sarah, and for your family. We pray in thanksgiving for her and for Arnold Harris, for Lindsay Black and Kate Lambert, who celebrated their birthdays uh, this week as well. We also celebrate and give thanks for all those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries, especially uh, this week. We, uh, Barbara and Mike Livingston, happy anniversary again to you. And for any of you who might be celebrating an anniversary and the gift of friendship and love with your your wonderful partner, we say thank you. And especially I'd like to uh, say thank you to uh, Barbara and Dawn Evans who celebrated their grandchildren this weekend with the altar flowers. They were so beautiful and I apologize for not remembering to give you thanks uh, on Sunday. Uh, thank you again for uh, giving us the ability to celebrate your grandchildren. Lord, in your mercy, we give thanks and love and joy. Hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles 
and bring them the joy of your salvation. We pray, Lord, for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and those in ICU units or in the hospital or in their own homes suffering from this terrible uh, virus. We pray for all those who are hospitalized and those who are, ha are suffering because of cancer or mental anxiety. We pray, Lord, for all the doctors and nurses who are caring for these people. We pray for all family members who are suffering and having to endure, having to help care for or watch, unfortunately, the, their conditions. We pray for your healing presence, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for those wonderful souls that you have welcomed into your kingdom today. We pray for them that have died today. We pray for the many souls, uh, unfortunately, who have died because of the coronavirus. We pray for anyone who has passed away this month of July and especially their family members who are grieving their loss. Be with them, Lord, and welcome their loved one to your heavenly realm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give us the peace and unity of, your, of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. We continue our prayers on page 134, page 134 at the bottom. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free, to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I hope you have a restful sleep so that you can awake refreshed and in amazement for a new beautiful day. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Hope you can join me tomorrow at noon for our noonday prayer and once again here with Compline Prayer. Have a wonderful night and sweet dreams.